for uh, the souls of man. Amen. And so we're going to be looking at this. So, so let's, let's just dive right in. And we're going to go straight to the book of Revelation. Amen. I had a young man tell me uh, about a month or so ago, he's afraid to read the book of Revelation. He said, he said, I'm afraid. He told me that's a scary book. Amen. Amen. Hey, glory. Never be afraid to read God's word. Never be afraid. Amen. My Bible tells me in the book of Revelation that if you read it, you get a blessing just for reading it. Amen. And I want, I want you to know that that does not just go for the book of Revelation, but any Bible book that you read, you shall receive a blessing just for reading it. Amen. <clears throat> but we're going to dive right into this tonight. Revelation 19, we're going to look at verses 7, 8, and 9. Revelation 19 and 7, in the King James you'll find these words. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we just thank you, O God. We thank you for your love and for your kindness. Thank Lord. We thank you for this hour. And we ask that you will be magnified and you will be glorified. Arise, O Lord, yeah. and let your enemies be scattered. Yeah. In Jesus' name, yes. amen. 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 It says, let us be glad and rejoice. Now we can stop right there and spend the rest of the night. There is no such thing as a sad saint. You, you have no business being sad. You have no business being sad. You have no business uh, glory. Saints are not supposed to be down and out and depressed. Glory. You have no business as a saint being sad. For the Bible de declares, let us be glad and rejoice. And then the Bible tells us in Hebrew 1 and 9 that he has anointed you with the oil of gladness. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, he, he did not anoint you with the oil of sadness, but with the oil of gladness. Yes. How your soul? Huh? Yes. See, the only time a saint becomes sad is when the saint thinks about them. Yeah. That's when you think about you. And you think about yourself and about your situation, about your troubles and your problems. But well, that's why the Bible says to deny yourself. Huh? We sing a song, huh? What? Concentrate on him? Yes. Don't we sing that song? Yes. Come on. Forget about yourself yes. and concentrate on him. Glory. So I want you to know, ain't no, no saint supposed to be down and depressed. Yabo. Huh? Uh, he has taken away that garment of heaviness. Mm -hmm. And he has given you, my God, that, that garment of praise, the spirit of praise is upon you. Mm -hmm. Anytime you feel your, yourself down and feel and you feel yourself sad, it's because you into self. Mm -hmm. And you need to get out of self and start magnifying him. Amen. And I promise you that that spirit will leave you because it's a spirit. Yes. Yes. Do you hear me now? Amen. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. We can spend time on that. Abba Shatta. Give honor unto him. Bible declares to give honor to whom honor is due. And uh, 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 my God, yeah, we honor the president and we honor the judge. Come on, uh, when the judge come in the room, is they say all rise, mm -hmm. glory. Then when the preacher come in the room, nobody want to stand up. <laughs> and the preacher's job is more important than the than the judge, come on. because because the preacher is watching over your soul. Mm -hmm. uh, Honor him. Why? The glory. The word for means why now? For the marriage of the Lamb is come. Glory. So this tells us that the Lamb is going to get married. Hey, glory. Now, Jesus was on this earth for about 33 years and he, and he, and he never married. Uh -huh. He wasn't. We got some crazy people out there that say he was married to Mary Magdalene. Uh -huh. and they got all kind of crazy stuff out there. But he was on this earth for approximately 33 years and he did not marry. He saved him, 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 himself for his bride. So, which is you and I. He said, for the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife, Hobashandai, 
have made herself ready. Notice that he says his wife, God, your soul. Yeah. My God, he's already looking at you as his wife. Mm -hmm. He's already looking at the church, as the body of Christ, as his wife. I know, Saka. Do you hear me now? Amen. Hey, glory. And what did she do? She made herself ready. Yeah. Uh huh. When a woman getting married, what she do? She make herself ready. Uh -huh. That's her most important day. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ever since her Bobby doll days. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Glory. She's been planning that thing. Uh, and now to come full, full, full circle, and she has made herself ready. So, are you making yourself ready? To meet your bride. My God. Are you making yourself ready to meet your bride? He said, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen. Uh-huh. Is that not what the woman does? Yeah. It doesn't matter how many men she's been with, but she's gonna come dressed in white. My God. Come on, somebody. Yeah. They, they told me that you wear white because you are a virgin. Pure. You're pure. Uh huh. And, and y'all been living together for the last five years, and now you want to get married, and you want to put on white. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all need to get married in black or blue. <laughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> but it says, and to her was was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen. Yeah. You see, God has a garment for for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's called, uh, come on, there's a robe of salvation, yeah. and then there is a garment of righteousness. And, oh, am I saying that backwards? Come on, somebody. Uh, there is a, 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 a robe of, 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 of righteousness and a garment of salvation. I know I got some Bible scholars out there that help me out. Uh, see, when you get saved, you, God puts a garment of salvation on you. You, you are dressed in white with your unpure self. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on, somebody. But he makes you pure. Mm -hmm. uh, yo, uh, yeah. he, 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 he clothes you in white. Mm -hmm. My God. And he put on, 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 on you uh, uh, a robe of righteousness. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. That's, see, this is how he dresses you. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Bible tells us to put on Christ. Ebasata, huh? Uh, you want to wear Levi's and Kevin Klein? He said, "Put on Christ." All right. Oh, bye. I got on JC clothing, clothing line. Come on, put on Christ. Wear Him. Yeah. And you know the Bible never said take Him off. Right. Oh, glory! You put Him on. Put Him on. You go to bed with Him on. Yeah. You wake up with Him on. My God. And I want you to know something. You also go swimming with Him on. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Uh huh. Uh huh. Because when sometimes when the people go to the beach, they don't look like they got on Christ. <laughs> Come on, somebody. You never take him off. Right. Hey, glory. Myself and Pastor Carlina, we went to the Lake Michigan to the beach, and we set up our little tent, and we were sitting there like we was apostolic. We sitting there with our blue jeans on, our pants on, and everything. <laughs> glory. Long sleeve shirt and everything. Just sitting there inside our tent sweating. <laughs> Saying I should have put some shorts on. <laughs> my God, but my God, we went out. We, 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 but we went out there clothed. Come on, somebody. We did not take off Christ, but we went out there, set up our little tent, and laying up there in the sun, sweating. Come on, somebody. I got now. She was, she was, she was cool, but I had the sun beaming down on, on me. How about? But my point is that we went out there and we did not take off Christ. Come on now. Huh? But then sometimes we get to certain places and, and sometimes you get around certain people and you want to take off Christ. Help us, Lord. Uh, Come on. Um, I get around so and so now I I take off Christ because I'm around so and so. Come on. Help us, Lord. Help us. Ah, he, he said, don't take, don't put on Christ. Yeah. And you don't take them off. Zip them up and break the zipper. My God. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Zip them up and just break the zipper so I can't, I, can't, I, I can't take them off. My God. Uh, some of us want to take them off and, 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 and we want to uh, take them off for, for, for our kids. Uh huh. Uh, you want to have a house party for your kids, and you, huh? You, you, for your kids, you, you want to do this for your kid and take it 
off price, something that you know you got no business doing, but you want to do it for your for somebody else. Help, Lord. Help us, Lord. Uh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Help. Some of us take off take off Christ for our spouse, help me, for our husband and for our wife. We know we got we know what the Bible says. Help. We know we got a business doing such and such, Jesus. but they want to do it, and so you take off Christ and you do what they want to do. My God, Jesus. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Uh, now don't 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 y'all make me go there. Go there. Don't make me go there. Go there. Don't make me go there. Shama. Uh, come on, I'm telling you, yeah. women, please shut cut under the soul. Don't never, don't think that. Uh, you, let me tell you something about a man. You think you can do? You give him everything that he wants. Sexually, give him everything that he wants. At the end of the day, in the back of his mind, he said, You nasty. Mm. I want you to know, I want you to know that. Lord. You give him whatever he wants. He's like, Yes, he, he's happy. But in the back of his mind, he still said, You just did that. You nasty. Mm. I'm telling you. No, 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 you know, I, I don't think I got to go any further than that. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, my God. Glory. But some of us take off Christ. I had, see, see, the Bible says that the, that the bed is holy and undefiled. And some people think that because it said that, that you can do anything in the bed. Mm -hmm. And that's a lie. The bed is holy and it is undefiled, but you can defile it. All right. Huh? Uh -huh. So, so you go find your husband, another woman. So, well, you ain't well. Well, well, we'll, well, well, we'll just bring her in. Help, Lord. Help. You just defiled the bed. Jesus. You trying to set up by him to keep him, Jesus. and it's not gonna work. Help us, Lord. I'm telling you how a man thinks. He, yeah, at the moment he's happy, but guess what? In the back of his mind, he's saying, "You ain't, you are not the one." lost respect for for you. My he ain't going to tell you that because he wants you to keep doing what you're doing, but he has lost respect for you, and you and you would know it by the, by the way he talked to you. Mm. The way a woman knows when a man is losing respect for him is the way he talked to you. Uh, when he snapped at you, that means he done lost respect for, for you. Jesus. When he snapped at you, when he growled at, 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 at you. No. Uh, come on, when, when, when he, uh, he don't have patience for, for uh, you. Jesus. When he call you stupid, when he, when he begin to call you names, that's because he done lost respect for you. No. Uh, do you hear me now? My God. Uh, I remember one, one time, uh, I said something to Pastor Carl, Pastor Carl Lita, and the Holy Spirit checked me. All right. She didn't even know it. Mm -hmm. I came back to her and said, Pastor Carl Lita, I'm sorry about it because of the way I said that. Amen. She said, I didn't know you meant that way. I said, don't. I said, don't worry. I got to apologize because the Holy Spirit told me Amen. to apologize to you. Because the Holy Spirit checked me because the way I spoke to her, and she didn't even see it, but I knew it. Amen. Uh -huh. And the Holy Spirit checked me. Because let, let me tell you something. I know we're talking about the, 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 about the bride, <laughs> but we led by the Spirit Come here. on. Yeah. And so, and so, and so, mm, glory, and so, and so, and see, and see, Pastor Carlita is a preacher of the gospel. And so the anointing of God is on her life. And so when I disrespect her, I'm disrespecting the anointing of God. Yeah. Amen. David would saw the king wanted by God was trying to kill David. Mm -hmm. David said, I'm not going to touch him because he's anointed. My he God. said, he, he sit there and throw, throw a javelin at me. Mm -hmm. huh? And I dart the thing and <laughs> I'm trying to play for him, get the spirit off of him and he throwing a javelin at me trying to pierce me against the wall. Jesus. And David said, I'm not going to fight this man back. I'm not going to mess with him because he's God's anointed. Huh? Did you not know that that as long as Shoto, as long as Aaron had the anointing on him that God couldn't kill him? God took him up, up to the mountain, stripped him of his anointing, and then he died. My God. Come on, somebody. Jesus. What I'm trying to tell you 
you and she's anointed. If I disrespect her, I'm disrespecting God. My God, that's the word. Do you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, my shot up. Somebody just told me uh, a couple weeks ago, they said that, that, that the pastor's wife cussed him out. Mm -hmm. She in trouble. Yes. Because she's not honoring the anointing of God. My God. Do you hear me now? So like I was saying, mm -hmm, don't take off Christ in the bedroom. My God. Jesus. Don't take off Christ in the bedroom. Because mm -hmm. huh? we take off Christ at different times. Jesus. Glory. And I'm telling you, that man saying in the back of his mind, you nasty. My God. And the way you know he's going he gonna, to he, he gonna let, let you know is by snapping at you, by being short with you, and he don't have, he's not long suffering, and and, 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 and some of you do something, he, you know, growling at you. Jesus. Huh? That's because he don't respect you. Mm -hmm. Hell, Lord. Do you hear me now? And, and 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 more than likely, you lost that respect in the bedroom, trying to you 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 trying to keep him and set up him, but that is not doing it. Do you know? I'm trying to help somebody tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the way a man thinks? He says, that's what a harlot does. Mm -hmm. He said, that's not what a wife does. My God. My God. Even if he tells you to do it, mm. he still says, that's what a harlot does. Mm. Let me tell you something about a man. I know so old. Yeah. He loves a woman that has a standard. Do you know a man wants you to tell him no? If you keep telling him, okay, I do it for you. Okay, I do it for you. I do it for you. It's your birthday, so I go ahead and do it for you. I do it for you. Do you know if you tell him no, he respects you more? Because you have a standard. There's something about you. And you carry yourself with, with a standard. huh? And he respects that standard. Oh, he's going to get mad. What do you mean? No. Blah, blah, blah. But in the back of his mind, he's saying I like that. He gonna tell you now. Man. But in the back of his mind, he's going, okay, okay, okay. I respect that. Because a woman thinks, I gotta do whatever I can do to satisfy him, and I, and I gotta keep him. If I take care of him, then he won't go nowhere else. That's a lie. Amen. It's just enough about a man. I ain't so. You can take care of that man everywhere you want to. If he going out, he going out. Amen. Regardless of you. Yeah. It ain't nothing to do with you. It's his flesh. I'm done. Do you hear me now? Amen. Women think I'm gonna satisfy him and do everything for him, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna take care of, take care of him. All you doing is make him hungry for something else. Jesus. That's all you are doing. A man like a woman when he tells him no, he respects that and he honors that. A woman stood up and testified in church. She testified in church. And she testified and said, I do everything to take care of my man. I give him whatever he wants. If he wants the back door, he can go in the back door. He can do whatever he want to do. Jesus. He ain't that man. I'm telling you, he don't honor you and he don't respect you. Mm. Huh? Oh, glory. I know, I know y'all saying, get back to the bride. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just just keep on talking about the bride now. Oh, he stay right there. Yeah. Shit, my God, I got so ooh. Oh, my God. Now, see, see, it takes, it takes a, 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 a man to help a woman. Mm -hmm. Because a woman thinks she knows what to do. But that man, let me tell you. If you want, to, you want your man to honor you, tell him no. Have a standard about, 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 about yourself. Oh hey, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Don't worry, because I know that the Lord is going to bring this up again. Oh Let's keep going. Ah, bah, 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 so he's going to address us. Ha, ta, ta, ta. The Bible says that she made herself ready. In verse 8 it says, And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, mm -hmm. clean and white. Ah, glory. Now see, white means purity. Pure. Do you hear me now? That's why the Bible said that he makes us white as snow. Yeah. Hi, yeah. My God, that means he made us pure. Your both shot, ta, ta, ta. I tell everybody, I'm white. Oh, my God, I'm white as I'm a white man. Come on, somebody. I'm yeah. white as 
as snow. Shete. Come on, somebody. He took this brown man. I know y'all think I'm black. But he took this brown man and dipped him in red blood and he came up white. Shete. And nobody know me, so I can say stuff. All right. But when you're big, you can't say stuff because they're coming at you. Yeah. <laughs> but when you're small like me, I can say stuff like, uh, Muslims, I will take that white Jesus. All right. You, you go ahead and you reject him. Because the Bible says, Muslims, it says in... Uh, Book of John 8 and 24, he said, if you don't believe that I am he, you're going to die in your sins. That's right. That's the one. But see, I believe that he is he. I told you. Yeah. Uh, see. Hey, glory. Ah, he's my lamb, my sacrifice. Right, come on. I, I, show yeah. I believe, my God. I'll take your white Jesus. Right. Shout out on see. Yeah. Then I look over there, like I'm not looking at him, and he be looking at me, like he be looking at me. 
Hey, glory, shaka. And so there he was, my God. See, in my dream, that was the marriage supper of the Lamb. Shabo. That reminded me of another dream. Hey, my God, in the dream, shoto. My God, I was in heaven again. See, I've been there, saints. Hey, glory, I've been there in my dream. Shabo had many heaven dreams. But this dream right here, I didn't have dreams of Jesus. Shobo cut out. I saw seen him face to face in my dreams. Shot out under the sea. My God. But 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 oh cool. And so here I am. It was I was in heaven. And here and, and, and see I was in this in this dream, I was about four years old. Sure kind that I see. Yeah. He says, Suffer not the little children come unto me. And I was about four years old. And I bust into the throne room. I bust the door open and the throne, the throne was a, a ways off, and I took off running and I ran and jumped right in the lap of God. Shut out under the soul. You see, uh, ain't no funny business in this. Right, come on. You see, come on now. See, I'm a man, and I'm going to marry him. Show both shot that I see. But you got to know, understand what marriage means to God. See, and see, what marriage means to God, it means to become one. We're going to talk about this oneness in a minute. Mm -hmm. But see, my God, see, in God, you are not male or female. That's right. Hey, glory, come on. That's just for the earth. Shut up. On the earth, it takes a male and a female. Come on, somebody. See, I can say this stuff because I'm small. Hey, glory. Ain't nobody going to look at our YouTube channel. Come on, somebody. I got those so cold both Sunday. My God. Hey, shut up. Yeah. glory. See those, see, those, see those big people, they can't say this. Hey, glory, because they can pay to keep their mouth shut. Yeah. They no, they are they are asking them straight out. Uh huh. Um, can is, is it is is it is it okay for the same sex to get married? And they'll hum and bum and get all the way around the question, but they will not come out and answer that question biblically because they're getting paid to keep their mouth shut. Right. And and they have endorsements. See, I ain't got nobody endorsing me. Huh? They got they got endorsements and they got all this. And they don't want to lose nothing. They don't want to lose their record deal. They don't want to lose nothing. Come on, somebody. Come on. Uh, but see, when you ain't got nothing, <laughs> you can go ahead and say, yes, it's wrong. The Bible says it's wrong. It's wrong. Hey, come on, somebody. Yeah. But see, in the, in, the, in the natural, it takes um, a reproductive system for the man and the woman to come together and reproduce. I tell you. But in God, shot out under the sea. Hey, glory, no need for the reproductive system because everything is created by the mouth of God. If he want to make a man, my God, he'll just, my God, pull some dust together, breathe in it, and say, rise up and walk.
with another man. Shatarando Rose. Hey, glory, shake My God, I got an A on that paper. Come on now. Hey, glory. Come on. And so, marriage down here, Shabara. So, it's not like that marriage. Hey, glory. And so, like I said, down here, glory. You're going to see, you're going to find out that when you get to heaven, you're going to be missing some body parts. Ain't no bathrooms in heaven. Ain't no toilets in heaven. Come on, somebody. Huh? Huh? In heaven, we are not male or female like the angels. Angels, there are certain body parts that they don't have because there's no need for it. Shut There are certain body parts you have down here that is need for you to reproduce, but in heaven, you don't need them body parts no more. I'm trying to help somebody. Uh -huh. You see, Galatians 3 and 28. Mm -hmm. I like 3 and 28 because something about 328, March the 28th, something about that. But something about 328, I don't know. Hey, I'm going to get that revelation one day. 328. I looked at my clock today. Hey, glory. I'm laying in bed trying to take me, get, get me a little rest. And I looked at my clock. It said 328. I said, thank you, Jesus. hi -yo. It says, there is neither Jew nor Greek. See, that's powerful. That's powerful. That's powerful. That's powerful. The reason why it's powerful is because, because the Jews are first. The Jews, he died for the Jews. He didn't die for the Gentiles. But when he said death, neither Jew nor Greek, he, what he's trying to tell you is all that stuff don't matter no more. <laughs> he said, 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 when you come to me, it don't matter if you're a Jew or Greek or barbarian, don't care what you are. Uh, he said, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Uh, no, he said, there is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither bond nor free. I told there is neither male nor female. Why? I told you the word F-O-R means W-H-Y. For ye are all one in Christ. Say, ta, 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 ta. My God, we got to talk about this oneness. Yeah. So marriage to God is not like marriage on the earth. Come on. Hey, glory. Marriage to God, and see, I told you, see, on the earth, you have to consummate that marriage. Yes. But in heaven, that, come on, ain't none of that kind of crazy stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Glory, short to go by If he want a baby, he'll make a baby. <laughs> ah, he'll speak that baby into existing. Hey, glory. If he want a baby, he'll touch a rock and say, be a baby. Shake it. And that rock will go, God got goo goo. Come on, somebody. Hey, shot on But in heaven, but marriage in heaven, yeah. it deals with becoming one with him. Yeah. That's what marriage is all about. That's what this marriage supper of the Lamb is all about. It's becoming one with him. And this here is so, so, so important. But before I, I get to that, let me read the scripture here. It says in 2 Corinthians 11 and 2, he said, For I am jealous over you. What a godly jealous. Can I, can I stop right there? Hiya, mm -hmm. so cold. <laughs> hey, glory. Uh, do you know if your jealousy is not godly, it's an ungodly jealousy? That's right. You ain't got no business all. Ah, uh, glory. Shut up. <laughs> Just the other day, I sat uh, next to this woman and I was talking to her and then her husband came and he got and he got and he got jealous. Mm. Hey glory. I know he got jealous because he said something uh, later on, minutes later we were talking and he said something and I caught it and that was him upset. Mm -hmm. He got jealous. That's not God. Jealousy is not of God. See, in the world, it's supposed to mean something. If I bust your windows out, out your car, that means that I'm. I, that means I. I love you. I bust your windows out because I looked on your phone and and I saw you talking and I saw you texting somebody and, and it said such and such. So I just bust your windows out, huh? Cause cause I'm jealous. That must mean that I love. I'm showing you how much I love you by busting out your windows in your car. Yeah. 
Um, I put a Snicker bar. I put a, <laughs> I put a candy bar down your gas tank because I'm showing you how much I'm jealous of you and I love you. And you both think that's cute. In the world, it means something that when you see that's ungodly judgment. Being jealous, that's ungodly. Huh? Come on, somebody. Uh, glory. But God said, a godly jealousy. Did he not say, my God? Did he not say that I am a jealous God? Why? 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 Because you his pride. Shit, hey, yeah. You his pride. And, and here you are fellowshipping with darkness. And then he get jealous. He said, why are you fellowshipping with darkness? Am I not better to you, my God? Don't I heal you? Don't I deliver you? Don't I set you free? Don't I save your soul? Why are you messing around with darkness over there? I'm jealous. Hey, God, godly jealousy. Why? Because you my bride. I put a white robe on you, and now you over here getting this fire shot to your soul. Don't you know I'm coming back for a church without Come on, somebody. Come out of darkness. Hey, you got on a, 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 a wedding garment right now Chateau oh hey, glory so you got and that's why the Bible said keep yourself unspotted from the world yeah Jesus you got on a garment you wearing it right now unless you took it off thank you Lord you wearing it right now he said keep yourself unspotted I believe that's James chapter 1 toward the end might be verse 27 I can't I can't recall but he said I believe that's the very last verse in James I might, I might, I might be wrong, but he said, "Keep yourself yeah. unspotted." Come on, somebody, look at the Holy Ghost. Uh, keep yourself unspotted from the world. Ah, ah, hey, ah. You know what? He said, "Keep yourself unspotted," uh, because you come to him, you already clean. All right. See, people trying to coming back. Yeah. Uh, shut up. Oh, Lord. 
He said, one husband. See, when Joseph was betrothed, engaged to marry, that was a marriage already. They were considered as married. Although they have not come together, they have not consummated their marriage, but because they were engaged in the eyes of everybody, that means you married already. Do you hear me now? That means you are already married just because you are engaged. That means you are already married. That's why they looked at it. Do you, huh? He said, I have, I have espoused you to one husband. Why? I told you. T-H-A-T -T spells W-I-W-H-Y. Why? That I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. My God. Hello, Shata. Huh? Do you hear me now? Whoa. Gosh, uh, Hosea 2 and 19. You can just write that down because I know you might have a little trouble finding the book of Hosea. That's all right. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. Some of you won't. Some of you can go right to it. But in, in the book of Hosea, it says, in chapter 2 and 19, he says, I will betroth. Glory. Be engaged. I will betroth thee unto me forever. Jesus. I told. Huh? See, let me tell you something. Jesus is not going to get cold feet. Right. He ain't going to meet you. He ain't going to come to the altar and then he say he, then he get cold feet. He said, nah, I'm leaving. Uh, there ain't going to be no one away, no kind of runaway bride or no runaway groom. Come on, somebody. Yeah, show up. He said, I did this thing forever. Right. Even my God in the book of, uh, I, book, I believe in the book of Ecclesiastes, it said, what God does, he does it forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah show up. Huh? God don't do temporary things. Huh? Ah, huh? He didn't save you for a little while. Mm. Shabbat. And then one day you finally said, you said, 
I accept you. Jesus. And when you said that, you need to know that what you really said was, I do. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Yeah. You got married to him. Uh, the moment you accepted Christ, that was, see, in the eyes of God, that was a wedding proposal. Uh, the day you received Christ, that was a wedding proposal. He was down on one knee, and then and then you finally, my God, that glory took out the stony heart, and you, your heart became a heart of flesh, and, and you softened yourself, and you humbled yourself, and you said, exactly. I do. Uh, I receive you. Yeah. Hey, glory. I'm of soul. Can y'all hear me today? Yeah. Oh, glory. Sheba, ba, 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 so. Yeah. Hot <laughs> uh, I want to go look at Ephesians and uh, glory, and then I want to talk about this one that's here. Pop, 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 pop. pop. Chate, uh, uh, which way should I go? Uh, I better, I better go, go ahead and hit this one that's real quick. Mm -hmm. And so marriage is about becoming one with Christ. He said in marriage two become one flesh. He makes twine one. He makes two one. And so John 17, so even in a natural marriage, we know that um, when man and, 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 and woman come together, he said, he said that, that you are now bone. Huh? So, so now me and Pastor Lee got married, so she's now bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. Amen. Meaning that we become one. Do you hear me now? Hey, glory. And so, and so, uh, so, so therefore, she become my, my, my rib and my barbecue sauce. Come on, somebody. Watch out there. And so, there you go. Uh, I get to sop her up. Come on. And so, and so, um, and so, yeah. Uh, the Bible says in John 17 and 21. <laughs> Hey, glory. We always laugh and tease each other. I'll stop you up like a biscuit. <laughs> Amen. And so John 17 and 21. Ah, it says that they all may be one. God want us one. We're going to talk about this oneness, y'all. Come on. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in them. Uh-huh. Oh, it says, Father, are in me and I in thee. That they also may be one in us. Yeah. But I was the one now. Ah. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Amen. Verse 22 says, And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. Why? That they may be one, even as we are one. Amen. Come on, somebody. Jesus and God and the Holy Spirit, they are one. Yes. Come on. Huh? We, we already know that over in, in the book of 1 John, chapter 5, he talks about these three agreeing one. Mm -hmm. Did you know the Holy Spirit does not disagree with, with Jesus? Amen. Jesus does not disagree with the Holy Spirit. They are one. No disagreement whatsoever. The Holy Spirit don't say, well, I think you ought to punish Trish. And Jesus goes, well, hold up now, Holy Spirit, hold up, hold up. Remember that we died for her? Uh-uh, it don't work that way. Yeah. Hey, look, the Holy Spirit loves you just as much, yeah. just, just as, much as Jesus does. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Jesus loves you just as much as he loves himself. Yeah. God loves you just as much as he loves Jesus. And God loves you just as much as he loves himself. Yeah. Did you know the Bible says in the same passage of scripture that with the same love mm -hmm. that he loved Jesus with, he loved you. Do you hear me? Yeah. And you know God loves Jesus. My God. And then he loves you with that exact same love. My God. Hot toe. Jesus. Hey, yeah. see, I'm trying to tell you, you ain't got no man, a saint had no man, no man that's been sad. Yeah. God loves me Amen. with the same love that he loved Jesus with. My and I know he loved Jesus. Yeah. Huh? Why? Because Jesus is God. <laughs> so that means he loved himself. So what he said is, I love you as much as I love myself. Thank you, Lord. Doesn't the Bible say, love thy neighbor as thyself? Yes. You see, God
God keeps his own word. He don't just tell you, hey, love your neighbor as you love yourself. But he's telling you, I love you as I love myself. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, glory. Verse 22. He said, And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them. Why? That they may be one, even as we are one. He said, Listen to this. He said, I in them, and thou in me. Now, you need to know something. It must go in that order. Huh? The order is Jesus in you. Uh huh. He said, I in them. So, Jesus in you and God in Jesus. Because God cannot come inside of you unless He comes through Jesus because He's so holy. Because He's something holy. If He comes into you without Jesus, you're going to die. Do you hear me now? And you won't be resurrected. Do you hear me now? But it takes Jesus, oh, oh, Jesus is the mediator between man and God. He's that petition, if you will. Hey, glory. And so, and so, and so what happens is, in order for you to get, in order for you to get God, you got to get Jesus first. Ah! All right. Come on, everybody trying to get, get God, but they don't want to go through Jesus. Right. And Jesus said, the way that God comes in you is that, is that he comes in you through me. Yeah. He said, what happened is, he said, he said, he said, he said, I and them and thou and me. So what happens is God is in Jesus and then Jesus is in you. That's the only way God can come in you. Ah! Do you hear me now? Yes. Hey, glory. He said, mm -hmm, that they may be made perfect in one. So you can't have God without Jesus. And that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved me as thou hast loved me. Yeah. Glory, Shabbat. And then I hear somebody, because I remember I said this to my, I said this to the, to the Lord. And, 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 and when you've been in Christ for a while, you, 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 say, you, say, you say things like, now what if I get to heaven and act silly? What if I get to heaven and just act silly? What if I get there and this old crazy perverted thought come in my mind and I'm here I am looking at the angel the wrong way and here I am, my God, being being all dirty up in heaven. Huh? What? Come on, somebody. What if I get to heaven, my God, and just a crazy thought just go through my mind? I'm going, oh Lord Jesus. Oh. Come on, somebody. What if I get to heaven and just get stupid? I told. I want you to know that it's impossible. It's impossible. Ah, ta, 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 ta. Yeah. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah. Uh, so you see, in 1 John 3 and 2, 1 John 3 and 2 says, Beloved, now are we the sons of God. And it does not yet appear what we shall be. Mm -hmm. Come on. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Uh, one thing is true is that we shall be like him. Uh, he cannot sin. Uh, and my God, that's why the Bible declares Shoto, that he washes you in his blood and puts a robe of righteousness on you. Uh, and that's why the Bible declares that all things become new. He makes you a new creature. He takes that sin nature out of you. Uh, and he put a divine nature, the divine nature and characteristics of God on the inside of you. Yeah. Uh, when you get to heaven, it may not mind, you may not know my God, what you're going to look like. But one thing that is for sure, you're going to look like him. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to appear. Uh, in glory, but I do know one thing, that I'm going to look like him, I'm going to be like him, I'm going to yeah. smell That's what it's all about, about being one. You see, you are body, spirit, and soul. And y'all don't even agree together. Huh? Because Galatians 5 and 16 tells us that your flesh and your spirit are contrary one to another. Do you hear me now? Your flesh and your spirit fight 
understanding in each other. So here, here, here you are, body, spirit, and soul, and y'all do not agree in one. But, the, but see, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, these three agree in one. Let glory, hot toe. And so the marriage is about being one with him. I'm going to think like him. I'm going to act like him. I'm not going to get to heaven and go, well, I think we need to make another earth. We'll make another earth, and, but this time, um, I'm going to go and I'm going to redeem him. <laughs> See, you won't be like Lucifer. All right. Shabu. You're not going to, there won't be no pride built up in you. Yeah, glory. I'm here to tell you, when you get there, you ain't, you ain't going to sin. Don't worry. Be happy. You're not going to sin. All right. I don't. And so, did you know Matthew 25, about the 10 virgins? You know that's all about the marriage supper of the Lamb? Mm -hmm. Huh? Why? Because they were what? Virgins. Mm -hmm. They were waiting on who? The bridegroom. Right, yeah. Shed our kind of die. yeah? They were waiting on the bridegroom. Jesus. I'm looking at my time and see what point can I make? He ta 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 ta. Yeah, glory. And be able to finish. Shoboku Shakanda. Ah, 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 glory. Ah, okay. Um, mm, mm, mm. Let me cover this little piece right here. I think it's Matthew 11 or two, Matthew 12 or 11. Let me see if I can find this real quick. If I can't find it, then I'm going on to something else. I ain't going to, uh, I ain't going to play with it. He cabaranda la soul. Oh, glory. My God. Sheba Kandalo. Amen. Matthew 11. Matthew 11. Mm -hmm. Matthew 11. And let's look at. Verse 11. It says, Verily I say unto you, among them that are born of woman, there hath not risen a greater man, a greater than John the Baptist. Notwithstanding, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. My God. Mm -mm -mm. Did you know? That in heaven, we go to be married. Now, what's a marriage without a best man? So cool, All right. Come on, somebody. So I want you to know that John the Baptist is the best man at the wedding. My God. Huh? He's the one that went before Christ. I told him so. Glory. And he's the one, my God, that was getting the bride ready. Hey, glory. Come on, somebody. Ah, and so during that marriage supper of the Lamb, and we marry him, my God, I want you to know who the best man is. Glory. Right, God. John is that best man. Do you hear me now? Oh, glory. So let me, let me show you something. In Romans chapter 7, let's even look at verse 1. We're going to look at verses 1, 2, 3, and 4, Apostle Murray. Amen. Amen. Romans chapter 7, verses 1 through 4. It says, I, it says, it says, Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. How that the law hath dominion over a man as long as he liveth. Do you hear me? For the woman which